Oh my god, why is he still outside my house? Oh no, my lipstick. Oh, you're kidding. Where's that hit then? <gasps> it's on the floor. It's on the floor. It's on the... F oh my god, this is so bad. It's on the carpet. I'm not gonna get my deposit back. Can you actually believe I've just done that? Because I really can't. Why has this happened to me when I look like this? Is that a joke? I'm just gonna have to stay on the floor and do it. <laughs> now let's try and do the intro. thing i've ever done wow i <laughs> love that hi guys welcome back to my channel as you can tell i'm literally so sick and i feel like i say this in the majority of my videos however i really really am sick this time <laughs> i exaggerate so much when i'm sick because i literally feel like deaf 24 7 <laughs> so if you can put aside the point that i sound like a man throughout this whole video then we're going to be recreating some of your edits today on my marvelous face so i was sat scrolling on instagram the other day and i actually got tagged in such an incredible edit from living harriet and it was like a photo of me and then she drawn on halloween makeup and i just thought it was amazing i'll insert it on the screen over here and i see so many of these type of edits in my tagged photos and i absolutely love seeing them they're literally like my favorite thing ever i think it's so amazing that someone has sat there and made that for me like that literally just blows my mind like thank you so so much i probably will end up looking like a clown at the end of this video but i guess that's kind of the point anyway we're just gonna dive straight into it i think i'm gonna start with eyeshadow first from the photo i can kind of tell that she's done like a purple smoky eye i think so first thing i'm gonna go in with this shade right here obviously because it's purple this is the bh cosmetics blush neutrals palette that is such a tongue twister and i always fail to say it i mean as i suspected it's not as pigmented as i thought so i'm kind of glad that i picked up quite a lot i'm kind of scared to do this look though because i don't really suit purple eyeshadow it kind of makes me just look like i've been punched in the eye oh my god it actually looks like i've got an infection i'm just gonna put that all over my lid because i don't really know where i'm going with this because i'm like copying an edit i guess i do kind to have freedom to do what i want but i don't at the same time so i do actually really want it to look like what obviously you guys have created these colors are actually really good bh come through queen i don't know if this shade suits me like i think the bristles on the brush are just giving up a bit kind of like me during uni right now <laughs> Hmm, sis. I think actually what we're gonna do next, I don't know what we're gonna do next. I could do a yellow. I know the yellow isn't on the image, but then I could like make it look cool. But then that means I'll have purple and red on this look and yellow. Do you reckon orange would look nice around the edge? I'm actually just gonna take this shade here from the Beauty Bay and Jordan Lips Glam Club. This is the Fuego palette. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. I really hope I do because I feel like I'm just stupid if I'm not pronouncing that right. I actually used these palettes the other day for a look that I did to go to Tully's farm and I literally I really loved the eyeshadows so much. They're so creamy, so pigmented. And I'm not just saying this because Jordan's my friend. I literally do love these shades so, so much. It is the shade Mocha for those of you that's got the palette and you wanted to know. And I think I'm just going to place this on the outer corner just to add some definition. Also, I know that the eyeshadow around the top isn't blended. We'll be getting to that, sis. Don't worry. I feel like this will either turn out really... I feel like this is either going to turn out really, really freaking good or really, really, really bad. I mean, I quite like this. I just need to smoke it out a bit more. Do you know what I mean? So I think I am actually just going to take this kind of like nudie red shade from the BH Cosmetics palette again. And I'm just going to go around the edges to try and blend this out. Oh, this is giving me like a purple sunset kind of vibe. And I'm really living for it. Damn, sis. That blends though. We're really here for it today. I'm actually just going to smoke this out a little bit on the ends as well. I don't know how well this will pick up on the camera, but I'm really happy with that wow i know that i've kind of gone a bit over there so i am just gonna go in with the shade let's find out what shade this is fawn from the onyx palette i'm a makeup student and i don't even know what this part of the eye is called neil brow bone we're just gonna say neil brow bone this is like one of my top tricks is just getting a lighter shadow if ever i go too close to the brow bone i always 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 get a lighter shadow and put it over the top to help blend it because i kind of have a habit of going too far up because my eye is so big and i have so much eyelid space i just like keep going as if it keeps going too okay not gonna lie i'm kind of obsessed with the eyes so we can see some very 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 blinding highlight under the brow and it's white so i'm actually gonna go in with the carly bible palette and use the highlight shade For those of you that don't know this palette i use it all the time i know it probably looks a bit stupid but for the purposes of this video i am literally packing on the highlight in that area because that's what the photo says okay so i've also noticed that i have eyeshadow under my eye see the problem 
is. <laughs> with my eye shape, and just me personally because I'm a freak, I don't like putting eyeshadow under my eye, but for the purpose of this video, obviously I'm going to do it for you guys. And put it under my eye. <laughs> it just makes my eyes droop and I just don't like it. See what I mean? It just, just doesn't look nice on me. See, it comes all the way into the... Do I? Don't I? I mean, I guess I could just use a black eyeliner. I actually am just the most annoying bit. I'm really sorry you can see the mirror, but I kind of need to right now. So I'm going to put the white one here into the middle on my waterline, and then I'm going to put the black one on the edge. Now what I'm going to do is go back in with that highlight shade and just put it on my inner corners. There is a little bit of highlight on this image as well. Now I think it's time for lips. We should do lips next, I think. Literally, it's just a simple red. So I'm actually going to go in with the CYO lipstick and liner. This is because it's actually very easy to apply. That's the finished look. <laughs> I look really stupid. I don't like the red and the purple together. Personally, I hate wearing red lipstick because I just don't really think it suits me. So I hate that. I'm going to take that off. Okay, so back to square one. I think I'm actually just going to go in with blow instead, like by itself. I didn't really like how bright the red one was. But both of them would give my lips a really nice tint. Does anyone else agree? My lips are feeling a little bit uh, low, like my self-esteem. But let's try that again. I mean, personally, I do prefer this color to the red. <laughs> I'm not really a lipstick person. I don't really wear a lot of lipstick. So I guess that's why I'm not really feeling it. But gotta do what you gotta do. I'm also going to darken the outside with the MAC. Night Moth lip liner. This is very vampy and I'm totally here for it. I'm just gonna add some highlights to my cupid's bow as well. Obviously stick into that white. Now what I've got to do is obviously all the lines that connect the lips to above my eyebrows, I assume. I'm literally praying that this doesn't stain my skin because I need to go to work after this and I'm gonna have a dark nose otherwise. So I'm gonna do the two lines above my head. They're wonky. Okay, so we're gonna leave that as that. And then I'm also just gonna do the nose now. Love that. <laughs> I mean, I kind of think I look adorable and I kind of think I look a bit weird. So now we have to connect the mouth to the under eye bit. I think I'm gonna do the under eye bit first. Getting this exactly right on both sides is gonna be so hard. I'm obsessed. Watch me go is this for Halloween. Like actually watch me go is this. Because I freaking will. That is so equal. <sighs> love me. I love this. I actually love this. Oh my god. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come my eyelashes, put onto mascara. I will be back in a second once all of that is done. So I don't even think I need to put on any lashes at all. I'm actually obsessed with this look. I think because it's like dark eyes, I don't really feel the need to because then that would cover up the eyeshadow. But I'm actually really liking this look. I've now just realized I have to finish the video wearing this makeup. Love that. But yeah, I guess this is the finished look, guys. I really hope you did enjoy this video. If you do have any more like Halloween edits that you want to tag me in or any edits in general, obviously tag me on Instagram. My Instagram will be on the screen over here. But I do kind of want to continue this up until Halloween. I'll try and film as many as I possibly can. And if you guys do have any other Halloween recreations that you want me to do. A woman outside has just looked at me and she literally thinks I'm insane. <laughs> Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy. Comment down below any other video suggestions or your Instagram so I can check out your edits if you would like. Make sure you hit subscribe down below as well if you do enjoy this content. I really hope you did enjoy this video. I will catch you all over on my Instagram and I will see you in my next video. <laughs> Bye guys. There's a whole ass man. Oh, you can see me. <laughs>